Okay, cool. So I think I am uh, I'm here and I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm, um, I'm really excited about uh, what it is that I'm going to be sharing today. Lara, I hope that you're back. I clicked the wrong button. Um, and the reason why I'm excited is uh, I see there's this opportunity online that people are just not nailing. And it's, it's such a big opportunity. And the opportunity, it, it, it goes like this. It goes creating authentic trust through intimacy. Now, in the, last, in the last week, we've had, in the last month, we've had a flood of bookings. Our business has, uh, is completely uh, continued to climb and grow without having to be pushy, without having to discount or lower prices or anything like that, with just holding our value but creating intimacy. And so it's something that I don't hear many people talking about online. And so I, I feel as though maybe I'm the only one talking about it. It, it, it feels to me that a lot, of, uh, a lot of the ideas out there in this online space and, and in this business growth space is all about um, just throw something up, see, see who sticks and see who buys. <laughs> so he says, it's like, hey, you know, you're only one funnel away or you're only, you know, you're only this, this thing away or, or, or whatever it is, you know, and it, the truth is, is I can put a funnel out there and I can send it to different people and it's completely different response. You see, if I send it out to a, a group of people that I know, know about me and care about me and I've looked after, you know, the earnings per click, the, the, the results are massive. I go send it out to a, to a list of people who don't know me, the results aren't massive. And so there's this focus on, okay, how should the funnel be, right? How should, how should this be? But there's no, there's no understanding or there's no real thought process behind this actually human beings on the other side of this, right? There's actually a human being looking at it and they're kind of like us. They have more options. Does that make sense? They have more options than us. And so today I, I really wanted to talk about intimacy. And so I'm going to talk about how to create and cultivate intimacy, what the layers are. I'm going to talk about your story and then also talk about the one thing that you need. And I, and I really think today's going to be a, a valuable session for a lot of the people I can see here on live. And if you're watching out there on the recording, then I hope it's, it's valuable for you as well. So the first thing that you must have is you must have clarity on your person. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that, you know, in the fast track you went, and you're looking at your person, you're, you're building out a message to market matrix, you're understanding your person, the transformations, and you're doing interviews. So for some of you, you might, you might not have done those interviews, you might not have done the in-depth market research that you need. And so this is going to be a great session for you, but you can't skip that. You have to go back and you have to do that. You have to do the research and you have to understand your person. When you understand your person, then you're talking to them. You're talking to somebody. When you actually can get clear on them, it's very easy to be able to do the rest of the marketing. And most of us just don't ever choose. We just don't ever pick someone. So remember this. If you want to make a million dollars and you have a product that's a thousand dollars, you only need a thousand people. One thousand times one thousand is a million. Right? If you have a $500 product, you only need 2,000 people. Right? If you have an $88 a month program, <laughs> you only need $1,000. So I just want you to remember you only, you, only need, you only need a few thousand people. Max. Maximum. If you've got a product that's at least 100 bucks a month, right? You don't even need 1,000. Okay? And so this is something that we've really got to understand. We've really got to understand because we're out there in this wilderness and uh, we're trying to get our message out there. Now, here's the key. A lot of people feel like I'm everywhere on their uh, Facebook. Type in if you feel like I'm everywhere. <laughs> Do you see me a lot? <laughs> Everyone on here is like, yes, 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 duh, yes. Well, guess what? That's not what everybody experiences on their Facebook. You guys that are here live are the people that resonate with me. And I'm going to show you how 
You just show up in just their feed consistently, consistently following them around the internet. You should have some people that are just like, man, this Chris Dunga, he has so much content, so much stuff, right? Wow, every time he puts something out, it's just what I need because I've cultivated it. I've thought through it, but it's only a small selection of people, right? I've got my person. I know who I want to talk to. I know who they are. I know their demographic. I know what they're after. I know they want to change the world. They want to make money. I know that they want to have a big, make a big difference. And I know that they need help with sales and marketing. I know my person and I talk to them. And when they engage, I continually send them more content. So it's kind of like dating. It's really like dating. But as I've told you before, it's more like fishing. Except you've just got this huge magnet and you can tell who is interested. And so what we do is the first layer of intimacy is awareness. So the first thing that we want to get people is we want them to be aware of who we are. So basically, hi, here I am over here. Now you're aware of me. Now I'm going to show you how I'm getting awareness for one cent. One cent. I'm getting awareness with my perfect person. I'm going to show you how to do that later today. The next level is once you find people that are aware, then you want to find people who have engaged, and that's the next level of awareness, okay? So it goes from this, the, sorry, the next level of intimacy. They, they become aware, and then only some engage, not everybody. You lose a lot, and that's okay. So if they engage with you, this means that they maybe have sent you a message, they have liked something, they've commented on something, then it's that they get there. The next level is they become a subscriber. This is when they subscribe to something. Now, this is a beautiful transition, and I want you to get this. It doesn't matter whether they open any of your emails. That doesn't matter. Here's what a subscriber says. You now have permission to send me stuff. Now, just check out this. Check this out, right? So first, you're pushing to them, content to them. Then they go, like comment or they view it then at some point they actually go here you've got the keys here's how to send me stuff here's my phone number here's my messenger here's my email that is a really important moment it doesn't matter if they ever never ever open the email we can figure that one out later what matters is at that moment they decided they'd give you permission to actually send them stuff that they have to receive. So that's the third level of subscriber. The next level is buyer. Now, this is the next most fragile moment ever. The most fragile moment is when someone stops just letting you send them content and they say, do you know what? I like you, I trust you enough that I'm gonna give you some money. Now. This could just be a book, this could be a small course, this could be a couple hundred dollars, this could be whatever. But they're testing you. They're 100% testing you. If you deliver on that first thing that they buy from you, and let me just, let me just add something to this as well. Sometimes they become a buyer, but without money. They actually become a buyer but they give you something that's their time. I want you to, to get into this place of understanding that um, someone's money isn't as valuable as their time. Because as soon as you start re recognizing that in other people, then you're gonna start recognizing it for yourself. If someone spends their time with me, it's more valuable than someone spending their money with me. Now that might be a bit, bit crazy to understand, but if someone comes to an event of mine, sits down in front of me, spends an hour on a webinar, I class them as a buyer. They are somebody that has invested. They have spent time with me. So that's the next layer. And a really, really important, if someone spends an hour and a half with you and you abuse that hour and a half, if they spend two hours, if they come to a live event and you just pitch them, they ain't never coming back. Does that make sense? And that's that, that layer. So they are, become aware, then they engage, then they subscribe, 
then they become a buyer of some sort. Then they become a client. A client is when they actually go, okay, great, I've tested you, I trust you, let's do this, let's do something, they become a client. Now, a client is when they definitely are spending money and they, they're probably spending quite a lot of money with you, maybe hundreds of dollars a month, uh, maybe thousands of dollars a month, but the client phase is when the testing is done. This is like the dating has finished, okay? So this is when you're committed. So subscriber, you know, you may be seeing other people, <laughs> you're getting emails from other people, then you become a buyer, you start to say, hey, you know, I think this is my guy. I think this is my, I think this is gonna be my, my mentor. I think this is the, this is gonna be, she, she's the one, I think she's the one, I'm gonna spend an hour and a half with her. I'm gonna spend two hours, I'm gonna to go to her event. Remember, your person has choice, they go, you know what? And then, when they walk up and they sign up for you, here's what they're saying to you. I'm choosing you. Out of all of the possible mentors or trainers or coaches or consultants, I'm gonna choose you. And that's a privilege. That's the biggest privilege. I'm so grateful for all of you that are on here, by the way. It's, it's such a privilege because they go, you know, I'm gonna choose you. Out of all these people, right? And so think about all the, when you're a buyer, and you've been a buyer, Think about all the layers you have to go through, right? And they say, I'm gonna choose you out of everyone. I'm gonna choose you. And, and that's a freaking great place to get to, that layer, that layer of intimacy. Because now you're in, now you're in a relationship. You know them, they know you. They've been, they've been dating you, you didn't know it. <laughs> but they were dating you, they were trying you on, what you had to say. Others, they were looking, they were looking at testimonials, they were eyeing it up. They, sometimes I get people turn up to a call and I've got a graph like an Excel spreadsheet of all the other people that have been dating. And they say, so here's why I'm gonna buy your thing, because it's better here, 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 here. And um, <laughs> I'm certain that there's many other people that you know date my content and then go somewhere else. So what happens after this is they become a happy client. They become a happy client. This is the next layer of intimacy. See, I'll let you know, not everybody that becomes a client becomes a happy client. And it's not always your fault. Not always. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it just doesn't work. It's the wrong time for them or, you know, their expectations. Are, but it doesn't always work. And that's okay. You've got to do your best uh, to, to have it work. You know, as long as, as long as you do everything you can and, you, you know, you give them the best chance of succeeding and, and you put all your effort into it, then, you know, you're good. So then they become a happy client. Now, happy clients buy more. The worst thing you can do is have someone become a client, buy stuff from you, and then not become a happy client. That is your biggest loss of intimacy because you think about all the things you had to do to get them to there, and then you drop the ball, you know? You, you know you're, you're there, you, you start, you're, you're doing stuff for them, you've got this great relationship, and then you screw it up. You know, for them to have to say, all, for them to get to that point, it's such a big journey that if you drop it there, you've wasted so much, so much. We'll do everything once we've got somebody there to make sure we, you know, we over deliver and we, we look after them, we give them as much as we can because we know that person, if we keep them, if we keep them happy, we know they'll come back for more and more and more. I'll come back to questions in just a second. The last level is they become a referrer or an evangelist. They become somebody who goes out there and tells their friends about you. Not really because they want money, just because they are so happy with their choice. And so it's kind of like, you know, when you have a single friend and you're trying to do like matchmaking. So they're so happy with their person, which is you, that they start going out there and telling their friends, it's, hey, you know, well, I know you're looking at that guy, but honestly, you need to check out this person. I, I know, I know, I know, but just grab this book. Just please, just get the book. Get the book, see what it is. It's worked so well for me. And they start, they start doing it for you. And so these are the layers of intimacy. And uh, I'll ask, answer some questions, but I've got a, I want us to get into how to actually do it. But here are the layers, a quick summary. Awareness, engagement, subscriber, buyer, client, happy client, and then referrer. Let me grab some questions.
can you ever recover from a happy client isn't happy anymore? Um, I think the, I, I think you can. I think you can. I think you can. Actually, no, you can. Of course you can. You've just got to, you've just got to get on and, and talk to them and apologize and ask how to make it right. Absolutely. And you want to do everything you can to catch it before it gets there. And you've got to remember that some, sometimes, you know, uh, people can become an unhappy client. It's not always because of you. It's not always. So let's talk about how we actually create this. Uh, difference between an unhappy client and a cold client. Well, an unhappy client was somebody that you had go right through to actually become a client. And now, you know, you haven't delivered. So now they've, they've, they've gone away. It's kind of like a breakup. So you walk in, uh, you know, you, you walk into a, to a, a meeting and there's a bunch of, a bunch of people there. Now they're all the same type of person. Just one of them you've had a relationship with and then and then you broke up. Notice the feeling between them compared to everyone else. Oh, well, two years. I can still be a happy client after two years. They're still happy with you. They're still happy. This, you've still got that intimacy with them, right? You're still intimate. They still bought something. They're still, they're still there. They were happy. And, and those, are the, those are my favorite people. You send them a message. Hey, how you doing? It's been two years. <laughs> Some of my favorite clients, you know, uh, are, we've got some people that uh, first bought from us in 2010, 2011, and then they go off, they're happy, they, they take their program, they go do some stuff, and then a year later, they see something else, they come back, hey, Chris, I see this new thing, what is it, let's talk, they come back, and, and you know, it keeps going. So, in order to get this done, we need to have uh, two things that we're really, really clear on. And Angela, this is why I wanted you to, uh, to, to jump on this call is the first thing is you have to have a story that is them being Luke Skywalker and you being Yoda. And what I mean by that is Obi-Wan Kenobi or Yoda, for those of you who don't completely love uh, <laughs> those sort of movies. They had to already go through it all themselves. They already went through it all themselves and had to learn it to become, to become the master. You see, they already had to go through it. They became the master and now they're helping the next one through. And so your story has to be like that. Now, most people get this confused with the hero, hero hero's journey. Most people get confused with this, with the hero's journey. And, Here's the important part. You have to tell the story so it's important to the person listening. Write that down. Your story has to be important to them. It is not your journey. So then I did this, and then I did this, and then I did this. That's not engaging for them. They won't engage with you, you see? And I'll show you where the story goes in just a second. Is if you tell your story about you, see? Notice in those movies, and I know that not everyone's uh, watched those movies, but we don't really get to hear too much about, you know, these masters' stories until I think they go back and revisit it. But we don't have to hear about their story because they are there as a guide, and we're learning Luke's story. And uh, what, what a great story it is. And so the thing that I want you to really understand is your story isn't about you. Your story is about you becoming a master so that you save other people all the pain. Does that make sense? That's what the story is about. It's about you going there so then you can help others. And it's so important that as we're sharing that first thing is we start off, like it says in, the, like it says in our program, you start off with where you are now. And this is critical and it's kind of a reverse way of thinking is you know typically when you tell a story you say well here was the beginning here was the end here was the future right and here's here's now here's everything went down when you tell it this way you first have to tell everyone you are the master okay 
then you go back and share where you were and then you share the journey that you went through and then you finish by telling them now why you're so excited about being the one that can give back does that make sense you get so excited you and you really talk to that person so one thing i say and i've got it written down here is you know i talk about how I, you know traveled the world and i spoke to a hundred thousand people got the best selling books in the movie with dalai lama and tony robbins and, you know i talk about these things right say so, but when i started i was just like you i just wanted to make money by helping people it's all i wanted i just wanted to help people and make money and i went out there and i got some certifications and i learned some skills and i learned all these things and and then I tried to sell to everybody. I wasn't making any money. And I go through this whole story, you see, but it's not about me. And I go through this and then it gets to the end. I say, so here's why I'm here teaching this. I know what it's like. I've been through it. I've taken others through it. And I'm going to make sure that you don't make all the same mistakes. And so now I want to show you, now I want to show you what it is that I wish that I had. What it is that I learned, I want to show you the fast track. I want to show you the quick journey. And that's where your system comes in. Do you see? And so where does this, where does this fit? And why, why am I talking about this stuff, which you know is already in the fast track? Well, what we're finding to work extremely well online, extremely well, is to go out with your story, and really engage with the story. And then out of everything that you had to learn, you pick one thing. You pick one thing that they have to do. And so if you think about the journey you went on, here's a question for everyone on live. And if you're on the recording, you can put it in below. If you could just tell someone, hey, there was just one thing, there was just one thing that I had to do, this one thing that most missed, this one thing. See, when it's a one thing, then it's so clear. So there's this one thing that I had to do, and there were three things that helped me do that one thing. Do you see this? There's this one thing, then there's three things. Let me give you an example. The one thing a coach or consultant has to do, has to, without a doubt, has to do, absolutely has to do, is they have to be able to create a consistent flow of clients. That is the one thing, the one thing out of everything, that's what they have to do. And in order to do that, they have to get their high profit position, which is what we go through obviously in the prototype, the high profit position. Then they need to be able to package themselves up so they don't just trade time for money. They must have an online course and the one-on-one. -on -one. Then they must learn how to create a pipeline. And those are the three, you see? So the one and then the three. But do you see that clarity where we, we really get them to understand? And so I know I'm talking about a lot, but how's this landing with everybody? I have some of my smoothie. Okay, I want to do a little bit of a screen share and so um, to let you guys um, uh, let this uh, land. But let's go back to our levels. Awareness. To get awareness, you need to tell your story. To get engagement, you're going to give a free gift. You're going to give a free gift. To get a subscriber, you are going to have people actually opt in to that free gift. As a buyer, you're going to get them to commit to some money or a longer term, uh, a longer time with you. And then a client, you told them what the one thing is, then you're going to have them buy how to do it with you faster. Does that make sense? 
It all lines up. It all lines up. Say it again. You tell your story that uncovers the one thing. They engage. You say, here, here is the blueprint, the map, the free thing that's going to show you how to do that one thing. Next is when people actually become a buyer. Well, you can get that one thing or you can spend more time with me. Once they spend more time, then you say, look, so now I've given you the, the thing you need. Now I've explained it. You spent all this time with me. You clearly like me. Now, can I show you how to do it faster than you can do it yourself? Now, when we do this the right way, people race towards us. If they're not racing towards you, your journey isn't right. You haven't got the journey quite right, okay? So let me give you an example because uh, I think sometimes we can just talk about this in concepts, but I wanna show you, I wanna show you uh, exactly what's happening. So I'm gonna share my screen. And I'm gonna show you behind the scenes of um, my Facebook. So if I change the date here to being September and update it. Okay, so here's some of the campaigns I've got running. Well, if it actually is gonna load. Is it load? Oh, sorry. One second. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is when you get this right, you can get super low and cheap leads. You can see here, you know, $3.23 a lead, $3.73 a lead, and you can see hundreds of leads coming in this month, okay? But can you see this here where it says three second views, okay? I'm gonna show you this campaign first, okay? This campaign is, is nothing but an engagement campaign, okay? So what I've done is, if you look at that awareness and the engagement, the top two layers, put a box around that, and I wanna show you. I've got videos here, okay? None of these have opt-ins. All they do is tell my story. All they do is tell my story. They tell my story in different ways to different people. So this one here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is uh, some of my get started uh, content. This is me out on the beach, uh, you know, talking about freedom, talking about creating businesses and traveling the world. So this goes out to a particular person. Hopefully it's gonna load. But I think most of you who are on here live know these videos. <laughs> And you can see here, um, all it says is press play. Are you interested in rapidly increasing the volume of business doing free training, six minutes? So it's a, it's a training just in Facebook. Now I want you to notice something. There's only been 13 likes, one comment and two shares. Now, the amount of views on this video is insane. If I go and change the date, you'll see that this is around about 20,000 views. If I go all the way back to, let's say, August to now, update. My point is, is at the awareness stage, uh, well, actually, there you go, only 2,000. There was this, uh, some of the other ones have actually had more. But you'll notice that each, so out of 2,227 three-second views, there's, there's actually not that many people. Um, that have engaged. Maybe I need to go back further. It's been running for a while. I think it's that one. Go back to July. Through to September. Here's my point, is for one second, oh no, it's not that one. Maybe I re-updated that video because I know this video has had lots and lots of views. Okay. I'm not quite sure why it's not updated. I think it might be this just this ad. Oh, we changed the ad set, okay. We updated this only last week, I think, so this isn't gonna change, no matter what I do. <laughs> so let me just go back. 
Let me go back to just September because I think it's the most relevant. My point is this, is if you look at this here, cost per reach per three second view is huge, okay? So let's get uh, this one here. Now this one's different. You can see that I'm in a suit. Uh, this is aimed at a different demographic and a different target market, you see? Uh, this one here is more about expanding or growing your business, okay? I'm in a suit, nice words, all sorts of stuff, okay? What's my point here is these here, I'm just spending, and in the last you know week I've spent you know, $400 or something like that, is I'm just spending to get people to actually to view and have a look, okay? So if you look here, this is the percentage of how much people are watching that, okay? Now, this is a, uh, an eight minute video. So if someone's gonna watch you know, 3%, it, it's not a heck of a lot, is it? It's not that much. And so these here are going out to complete cold audience. You'll see this one here says 17%. That's because this last video, this is only a one minute video, okay? So it's actually not that much, okay? And so I'll just, I'll just stop the, the screen share for a second, okay? I want you to know that when you push out that first video and you go out there to get awareness, most people don't engage with you. Does that make sense? But that's okay. We find the ones that watch the, the, the amount that we want them to watch, and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. But who's with me there? Does, does that make sense? Because it's, um, it's a big deal. Just seeing if I can get another couple metrics up here. Actually, I won't. I won't. I know what I'll do. Cool. Let me just look at messages. It's building trust and getting people to be familiar. Yes, it is. And what it really is, is it's me out there sharing my story, telling people what's possible. Okay. Now, what I do next is I want to find people that engage. Okay. So I put that video out there and I spent, I spent 400 bucks this week just to get people I don't know to watch my video. Now, Let's, let's keep on going because I want you to keep thinking in your mind, intimacy. Think intimacy. There's an ROI on intimacy. There is an ROI on intimacy. Okay? It's huge. It's huge when you, when you do it. Some people go, well, you didn't, you know, Chris, you didn't. Ah, get out. Oh, there. there we go. So, Chris, but you didn't, you didn't get any sales from all of that. <laughs> and, and those people um, will be racing. <laughs> they, they were racing to get nowhere. So I want to show you what you can create. So I created some audiences. I have to stop my share because it's, it's too hard to load. So what I did, and I want you to get this, is I created audiences of people who have watched 10 seconds, people who watched three seconds, but also of people who watch 25% of a video. Let me ask you this question. If you have someone that's watched 25% of your video, do you think that they are somebody that actually wants to hear more from you? Do you think they're somebody that actually passed the awareness test? They're aware of you, they watched, you know, you put out an eight minute video or a five minute video and they watched a quarter of it, you know? And so you can break this down and when you create audiences, you can go here and you can go, oops, sorry, I don't have my screen share on, one second. You can create some audiences of people who have actually done something. So if you look at some of these here, 25% uh, of my video, there's 20,000 people who have watched 25% of one of my videos in the last year, okay? And so you can start looking at these things but I want to show you quickly how to do this. It's really simple. So you just click here, you go create custom audience. And hopefully it pops up in just a second. Because <laughs> I want to show you some of the tactics. I did click that, didn't I? There it is. Okay. So see here where it says engagement? Notice why I use the language. The second step is engagement. Okay. So if I go engagement, I go here video. So I click on video. 
And I'm going to choose, okay, let's choose people who have watched, I don't know, let's just say 25% of my video. And then I just click here and I choose video. So this, this has got 1,500 views, Messenger bot. I don't actually want that one. But this one here, there's 7,000 people who have viewed that video. So that, that's a good one to pick. Maybe I go pick another couple other videos. So maybe I pick this one. Uh, this one here, clearly there's a lot of views. Uh, I want to choose ones that have my fit. So, sorry, I skipped over it. The reason why I didn't choose the messenger bot one here is because this doesn't have my face on it. Okay, they're not getting, there's no awareness there. That's just a messenger um, bot ad. So I want to choose ones that have my face on it, people that are actually engaged. And I'm just choosing ones that have got, you know, some big audiences here, right, that have looked at this. So now you go through here and you can start seeing that all of these, uh, these video views is 15,000. See, that's what I was meaning before. There's 15,000. I'm not sure why that ad wasn't showing that before. Maybe choose that one. And here's the blue t-shirt, one nine thousand. Okay, cool. That's what I was, that's the numbers I was looking for before. So if we choose them and I just hit confirm, now I'm going to create a list of all of these people who have watched that. And look, I can just go put this down and I can just say in the last 60 days. Okay. And I can just, I'll just put in here demo. And I can create this audience. Now why that's creating, I'm just going to come back to you and say, look, imagine I just have a list of people who have watched a quarter of my video. What's my next goal? Okay. And so what if that was just getting fed consistently? This is exactly what I'm doing getting fed consistently. And so now I know these people are engaged. So what's the next step, everyone, after engagement? What's the next step? So they become engaged. Now what am I doing? Now that they're engaged, my goal is to have them become a subscriber. Yes. Yes, a subscriber, right? And so nobody, check this out. This is so intense. I'm so excited about this. Nobody, unless they watch 25% of my video, gets the free gift. Nobody, they have to watch the thing to get the free gift because I want them to know about me and my story before I give them a free gift. Does that make sense? I don't want to go and waste money. This is why all of you see so much of me because you've, you've engaged with a lot of my content. Does that make sense? So now I'm going out with the free gift. So now they know my story, they know who I are and they went, wow, look, that was a cool video. Awesome. They watched a quarter of it or more, okay? They, they are definitely aware and they've engaged, okay? So now I'm trying to get them to subscribe. And this is where this one thing comes in. And so, you know, Angela, one of the things I really want us to get clear with your brand um, is what we did with Cheyenne. Cheyenne crushed it. She's got this one thing. It's this morning productivity guy. She's a 65% opt-in on this. It's incredible. When you find the one thing that gets people moving, the one thing that that you say, hey, this is the one thing you need. So I'm going to use Shane as an example. She said, for busy business moms, the one thing that they need, the one thing is productivity. You need to know how to have a productive week, a productive morning. You need to have productivity. That's your one thing. And here it is. Here, you can get it for free. This is the thing that changed everything for me. And so in some of mine, it's, um, you know, here's a checklist. Or here's a, uh, here's a case study. Or here's a, here's a report. But you've got to understand the ones that really work is when you get this one thing. You say, this is the one thing. So you need to be able to make money and be enlightened. You need to be able to have it all. Here is how to have it all. Here's how to plan your life so you have it all. What works the best is that one thing is, is it's a small or a map. And Angela, remember Sean's um, thing that he used to give? the. Uh, the chart, it also should link into, into when they spend more time with you. Does this make sense, everyone? So if you give them a checklist, the next thing is then tick, how to tick off the checklist. Or if you give them a productivity planner like Cheyenne did, is the next thing is, okay, so how do you use that? Does this make sense? So it got it, it leads into how to use it. So then you teach them how to use it. And that's when you can move them through to a buyer. Now they can either spend money with you or they spend time. But is this starting to all make sense? And can you see the intimacy? So the intimacy starts moving, but we'd be very careful that we don't 
we don't break up the intimacy. Once they subscribe, we know that they want the thing. So then we say, hey, well, now you're a subscriber. Do you want to spend more time with me? Or do you want to, you know, do you want to exchange some money with me? Okay, great. And then we go to there. And then from there, our job is to get people to consume that next level. Okay. And so I want to sh keep showing you behind the scenes that I hope you're enjoying this. Let me just get the next thing live for you. Okay, so I'll show you some, I want to show you some stats. So if you saw before, um, you would have seen over here, if I go back, to power editor, oh, sorry. One second, one moment please, please hold. <laughs> While I'm just getting this set up, I want you just to let this, just think about how you're bringing in intimacy with people. Okay, here it is. So, here's the video view campaign. It's cost me on average two cents to get somebody to watch at least three seconds, okay? Which is all right. Um, it, it, some of the videos are at one cent. So, the next thing that I retarget them to is you'll see this here. So, oops, why is this not loading? There it is, okay. So this is the 19 point checklist. And if I click through to this, this is where they go to next. Okay. So I'm just letting this open up. Ah, bummer. Sorry, everything's too slow. Oh no, no, there we go. Yeah, let me just stop the shares. Ah, every time I think I need to stop it, it works. Okay, so one of the one things that, that we, did, we decided was people want to have a checklist to getting their, uh, their Facebook working, okay? So you'll see here, retargeting, okay? Now I've got 39 leads at $3.28 a lead, okay? So over the last, you know, nine days, I've hardly spent anything, only 120 bucks, okay? But this here is all people that already know me, okay? So I've already gotten to know me, and now I'm getting them to retarget, okay? So we retarget them here, and here's where they're going to, is they are going to, not that, they're going here, okay? So you can see, I get a 63% uh, opt-in, which is nearly as good as Shane's, <laughs> and, I get this opt-in here, and these 285 people, they're all the people that, uh, so this is a little bit of a longer uh, age gap, uh, uh, time gap here, okay? So a lot of these will come from other places, not just Facebook. So you can see, if I go back, there's 285 that have opted in, um, but 163 have been specifically from, from this ad, okay? Just so you guys understand. So what, where am I taking them? I'm taking them basically, uh, to a page that gives them a free gift. So this is where they become a subscriber, okay? So 19-point checklist for getting high-paying clients using only Facebook. Facebook, And then what I'm doing is straight away is I'm putting a testimonial right in front of them, okay? So the testimonial reel uh, is something that's working phenomenally well, okay? So you'll see here is the, uh, the testimonial reel, okay? Your program has been emailed to you. If your coach, consultant, this business could change you forever. Now, I want to I want to pause and I want to talk about why does this actually work? Turn that off. 
Why does this work? I want you to think about this person. Think about the intimacy that we've created, just, just for a moment, okay? They saw a video, they watched enough of it. That then I sent them, hey, you can get us free gift. So they watched the video, then they went, oh, cool, Chris. Yeah, I know Chris. I'll get a free gift from him. They go get a free gift, okay? Opted in, then the page says, hey, I've sent it to you. Now, I'm not gonna talk about me. I wanna tell you about other people that have used my services. So I put, a, I put a testimonial reel right there, you see? So think about the intimacy, think about the story that's in this person's head. Oh wow, cool, awesome. Yeah, I'll watch that, yeah. Oh wow, he's really helped some other people. This is awesome, this is great, you see? And so what I wanna do then is, now I've got them in the email, I've got them in these places, now my job is to get them to spend more time with me, okay? Now I want them to spend more time with me. So these people, now I send them to my webinar. Does this make sense? So many people go, hey, cold traffic, come try to get on my webinar. They're missing it. So these people now get to my webinar. And that, that again, retarget and, and the people that jump on my webinar jump on the webinar. So it, it's so important for me to try to get across this, this idea of intimacy because the, the, the intimacy is, it, it's critical. It's absolutely critical. So I think that you saw, um, uh, I think that you saw the amount that was spent. So it was costing about $3 to get somebody there. Okay. And so we're getting around about 4% of people, okay, that opt in. So it's about, about 1 in 25, okay. About 1 in 25 actually go through and uh, put their application in to apply to work with me. Now this is a hardcore application. So if anyone's really smart, they can, they can do three times 25 and realize that it's about $75. But it, it costs me $75 because I created the intimacy to get somebody to go through this really heavy application here. Okay, really heavy. So they go through this application and there's, there's me talking and there's, there's all of these things. Now, not everybody goes through here. Do you see only one in, one in 25? I bet you know the answer. Why has only one in 25 decided that they'd actually get in a phone call with me? Intimacy, trust, authentic trust. So here's what happens is I know only one in 25 go through. So what happens next? Well, now I have them tagged. Does that make sense? And so now they're tagged and they're on my email list. My job now is education. My job is to educate them and help them understand who I am, their problem, their promise, all these things, and really spend some time with them. But if one in 25, right, are getting on that call, they go through the hard out application, they get on that call, one in three is buying, one in three is buying. So it's cost me about $240 to get somebody to purchase. Does that make sense? And they go through there. But here's the key, is that there's this huge database being built. And all these people who are like, I just know exactly where they are, and now I know the next step I need to get them to. So I need them to spend more time with me. They need to become a buyer, okay? So here's what I'm doing, and I really wanna get this through before we finish this session, because I think this is super critical, this last piece, okay? so. When they get through here, here's what I'm doing is I want them to become a buyer. So they go back, if I go back, I go back to my campaign and I just hope that you guys are loving them. Just this behind the scenes of everything we're doing. <laughs> so, damn it. I'll let you, let you sit with that for a second. Hold on, every time, every time. I want you to notice the story, then the one thing, and then they move through in the exact right way, okay? Okay, here we go.
All right. So I can see your questions. I'll come to them in just a second. Why well, I can't see them, I can see that you've looked at them. So here's the next thing I do is I clicked on the campaign that's for my free book. Sorry, I, I clicked through it while I wasn't sharing the screen, but um, I can click back, but I prefer not to try. So free book purchases, retargeting, okay? So what happens now is everybody that went to that last, that last place, I say, you know what? Why don't you come get one of my free books? I'm gonna give you two books for free, and so I wanna build more of trust and intimacy with you, but mainly I want you to become a buyer. Now it's costing me $13.50 to, uh, to get a buyer, Here's the, here's the funnel where they go to. And uh, I actually just added this page in two days ago, so the stats are, are a, little bit, a little bit out. But there's one stat that I want you to really understand because it's one that hasn't changed. You'll, you'll, see, um, you'll see here, so yeah, there's no way the first page could only have 44 views and the second page at 83. I only added this a few days ago. But here's what I want you to see, okay? Average cart value, from, uh, let's make sure I've got these dates right. So this is 1st of September, 10th of September. So change this. 1st of September to 10th of September, apply filter. Just so we've got the ads and the funnel lined up. Okay, so you can see average cart value here of $18.63. And then you can see over here uh, the uh, free book that how much it costs me to actually get someone to buy one is $13.50. Now, what's great about that is one, I'm making a few dollars when I sell my book, but two, this is actually in Australian dollars. <laughs> this is in Australian dollars and uh, this other one, this here is uh, in US dollars. So it's actually costing me closer to $10 US to, to make 18. And so now you can see that I'm really starting to find the people who, who want to spend more time with me. So I give them my book. Now, when they get my book, they, they also get an online membership portal. So they get my book and they get all this education. They get to know who I am. And so that gets them through to buyers. Now, here's what we do is now we get on the phone and we ring everyone. We say, look, you know, uh, you bought my book, you know, how else can we help you? Because now we've got their phone number, we've got a reason to ring them. And I'm so grateful I got through all of that in an hour. <laughs> now we get on there and our job is, hey, get on this webinar, can we talk to you more here? And I wanted to, today my intention is I wanted to show you how to create intimacy. I wanted to show you what a full ecosystem looks like. And I wanted you to really get that your job is to care about the customer journey and make it so crystal clear what it is they need. I want you just to notice that everything's clear with mine. At the beginning, you watch this video, I talk about getting more clients, building your business. Then I give you this free thing that helps you to get more clients and build your business. Then I say, get on a phone call if you want, watch these testimonials, get on a phone call, I'll help you build your business. Then I retarget with content and I say, look, I've got a book that's gonna help you to build your business. And then I get on the phone and I say, can I give you a free webinar that's gonna help you to build your business? And it's like this whole thing is orchestrated around two core pieces, three core pieces. Where are they now? Where do they wanna be? And what's that one thing? What's that one thing that's gonna get them there? And then everything else is intimacy. All right, let me get to these questions because I know I've just gone over time. Lara's question was, do you have the customer journey um, on a one-page diagram? Do you mean the uh, awareness, engage, subscribe, buyer? Uh, I don't. We have it on our 19-point checklist, which is the thing that you can download on that, on, that, um, on that page. It's also in the Message to Market program as well. Uh, 
Um, if that makes sense, Lara. Yeah. I mean, this is this is the whole point of what we do in the fast track. So uh, everything is is about about creating intimacy. Yeah, yeah. We get we get it. We got we've got it printed out. I've got a big a big thing. Um, and so yeah, Lara, make sure that you get the the logins to that again. Cool. Awesome. Um, does ClickFunnels help you uh, with the back end? What do you mean? ClickFunnels is all right. Like it's it's um it's a good tool. Instapage is good as well. Lead pages is good. They're all good. Don't get confused between the tool and what's possible. And also, you know, I love I love the message of ClickFunnels. I think it's fantastic. I just don't believe that it's one funnel. I believe that the piece that's missing is mapping out the journey, the journey of how you create intimacy and authentic trust with somebody. It's about knowing where they are, what they need next, knowing where they are and what they need next. Does that make sense? And when you map that out and you get that right, everything works. So what should you start with right now? Okay. Well, if you haven't gone and got your target avatar done, if you haven't gone through the message to market program online, get in there and build out who are they, where are they now, where are they going, what's the one thing, what are their objections, and what is that lead magnet going to be. Figure out, once they get that lead magnet, how are you getting them to spend more time with you, and how are you getting them to buy? Now, quick plug. If this sounds confusing but exciting, we do offer to do this with you. You know, we will get on the phone with you once a week personally, build this out for you, and we have a team that can actually do this for you. And if you want to talk about that, you can, because once you get this all right, everything's easy. And if you want to do it yourself in the message to market program, then that's fantastic, because I'll be here, you know, every week showing you the fast track, how to, how to get through. But once you get them through there, that, once you get that plan, sorry, then it's easy. Then you want to go put a video out there and get people to go see it and then retarget and retarget and retarget. I want to just finish by letting you know that what I'm teaching today isn't just um, to be used on Facebook. It's also to be used on uh, your emails, also to be used on ManyChat. It's about understanding the journey that you take someone through. The platforms will change. The platforms will change. But the way that humans move towards something doesn't. Does that make sense? Don't rush. If you can get someone from they've never met to you to they're buying from you, if you can get them to do that within two weeks, how awesome is that? How awesome is that, right? But what I see so often is like, Oh, hi, we're at a networking event. Oh, hi, I've just met you. Buy from me. And, and we all know that that's not going to work for the products that we want to sell, is it? I mean, that might work when you, you, you want to get a, a soft drink or you, you want to get a bottle of water or you want to go out, you know, out and get a, you know, a meal, right? You can go and do that. But if you can do in two weeks, if you can build the relationship, move them towards you, Ask if they want a phone call. Know that most people won't get the phone call. You know, only the super hot people will get the phone call. But you want to ask anyway and do it in the right way. Hey, you can apply. Then you educate and move them through again. And then you do it again. You've got about a 21 to 28 day window until they start dating someone else. Does that make sense? They're going to start dating someone else. So you do want to have a bit of hustle but how you move people through. So you do want to move them. And get them through. If you can get sales for anywhere under, you know, 30% of what you're charging. So if you're charging a thousand bucks, if you can get sales for under $300, you're killing it. Killing it. If you're selling at 5,000 and you can sell for 1,500, you're killing it. The, the last place I want to I wanna finish on is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and trust that if you get 50 people on the phone, that one of them will buy. And remember, we also show you the how to do the, do the call uh, in the fast track. What if you're cracking a new market? What does that mean? What is cracking a new market? By the way, I'm going to answer some questions. I'm sorry that I went over time. I'm excited about this. It's something we're really focused on right now. So um, if you've got questions, 
you can put them in, but I won't be offended if you've got a go. What do you mean by cracking a, a new market? Pioneer. I wouldn't suggest cracking a new market. I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, I see a lot of people wanting to be inventors and it's not my first suggestion. My first suggestion is to be an innovator, not an inventor. Um, being an inventor, trying to get into a new market or create something new, it, it's just expensive. It's just expensive. And so if, if you want to get a, a jump rope course out there, you know, my suggestion is to weave the jump rope course um, behind another message, okay? So here's a market that a jump rope course, and I know Chantel, I know what you're doing, that's why I said jump rope course. So everyone else, uh, Chantel's got to uh, help people get fit and healthy, you know, do a jump rope, which I think is cool. It's kind of new, it's not really new. Here's what's not new, is how to lose weight. So here's what I want you to do, Chantel, when we talk, we haven't had a, we haven't had a kickoff call yet. But what I want you to do is, I want you to go and be a weight loss expert or a fit body expert. And I want you to be out with that. And I want you to promise to be how to lose X amount in this many days, how to get your beach body, how to get a, your bikini body ready in 30 days, right? That's what you put out there. And then you say the one thing you need is job pro. But you see how that's innovating, not inventing? Because you, you're going where the money is. A lot of people, try the money's going this way everyone's buying one thing and they're coming and saying no no don't buy that you just need mindset but everyone's saying no we want strategy we want strategy we want strategy we want strategy you try to come into a market and say don't get the strategy don't no 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 stop it come over here it's you're just fighting the tide what you better do is go oh here's the strategy here's the strategy is it and then you just teach the mindset that you want to teach you need to stay in the flow of money. Stay in that flow. Because when you're in the flow, people will spend because they're, they're moving. So Chantal, instead of saying, don't go do those other exercises, you have to do jump rope. You want to say, I'm going to show you how to have a beautiful beach body, show you how to have a beautiful beach body. Oh, by the way, it's by doing jump rope. <laughs> you know? And so you stay in that flow. So it's not really a new market. It's just, an, it's just a new technique. Well, not even new. I know how to do jump rope. So, yeah. Cool. Hey, I really enjoyed this session today. I hope you guys did too. Uh, ask me lots of questions. Use the hashtag Ask Chris if you watch this on the replay. Awesome. And uh, post your questions below. Look, what I'm really excited about is doing this sort of stuff with people. So I'm going to keep teaching it to you each week, but I want you to know my intention is I would much prefer just have me and my team do this for you. I just want you to know that I believe that fish should swim and monkeys should climb trees. And if you're feeling like a fish out of water with this sort of stuff, let us come in and do it. Okay. And it's, that is what I really do want to do. Uh, and I also know that for a lot of people, they do want to learn it and they do want to go through it. And that's what this program is here for. So uh, keep on learning and keep asking questions. I'm just going to keep showing you what we're doing. We're not holding anything back. I'll just show you everything that we're doing. Um, and you can either figure it, you can either do it yourself by following my instructions or you can get us to do it, uh, which, is, which is cool as well. So you guys are awesome. Have a huge week. And yeah, I'm glad we're doing it for you, Lara. <laughs> uh, use the hashtag Ask Chris in, in the Fast Track community. Support everyone. Go through the program. Uh, make sure you get super clear on who you're targeting, and, and get out there and you know, take care of your people. Just take care of them. Like know that every video you put out, there's a new prospect watching you for the first time, and they have so much opportunity. They can work with everyone else, and that's that asking. Does this person care about me? Does this person know me? Does this person understand me? Is this person going to help me? And that's what they're asking. You see, that's what they're asking. So I love this community. I love this tribe. And uh, I know you guys will do that. Just, just don't forget it. Just don't forget it. Every video, if every video you did, you just found one person who wanted to work with you. Your business would grow really, really, really fast. So just remember that if it's the first video, you know, don't be asking them to get married. <laughs> 
just give them some value. Give them some content. Make sure you've got all the, everything tracking after that. Have an awesome week. See you guys over in the group. Post your questions over there. Bye.